Hi everyone, in this quick tutorial I'm going to help you understand what a parent group is uh, when you run into it in your dynamic expressions here. I get this question quite a bit actually because people will see it and they'll get a little confused as to you know what it's actually referring to, what the difference is between a parent group and a regular group, and really when to use it or when to, when to pay attention to the parent group versus another group element. So I have a little example here. Um, this is just a list of users in a repeating group and this is a group element. Okay, this box in green. Uh, if I click on a user, I'm sending data to the group so that I can display dynamically um, a different image based on whoever I click. Okay, so now at the very first level of this, the parent group simply refers to the parent element of another element. So the green group here is the parent of the image. Okay, and if you were to take it a step further, the page itself, the entire page, is the parent of this repeating group, it's the parent of the green group, it is the grandparent of this image inside the green group because we're two levels down. This image is inside the green group, the green group is inside the page. So the page is the grandparent of the, of the image element. Now Bubble doesn't expose grandparent values or grandchildren values, um, it just gives you access to the parent group of any element. So if I were to add a text element here inside my green group and I insert dynamic data, I can say parent groups user because, uh, let me back up actually, so this green group is set to a type user and that's how I'm able to dynamically change the image because when I select the text here, I have an action that uh, is set to send data to that group. Okay, when I click on the text, I'm using the display data action, and I am sending the current cells user record to this green group. And the current cell, of course, means the user in each of these cells in the repeating group. So uh, when I see here for this text element, parent groups user, it's referring to the user we've sent to this group. If I select user A, well, this group is now acting as a data source for user A. We can display user A's picture, we can display user A's text value. So parent groups users, and then we have all of their fields. So I can say their username, and I'm gonna just make this a little bit uh, bigger here so we can see their name there. So when we say parent group, we're really talking about the element that contains um, this text here. So this text is referring to user A's username, right? So I'll refresh this so we can see it. Okay, so I'll select Sally Jones. Now we can see her username there and the same for the other users. If you look at your elements tree, it might be easier to see which group is the parent of which element because you can actually see your hierarchy. So we can see uh, group green here is my green element. And within the group, you can see that it's indented. I have the image and the text. Now let's say I group these two together again. So I'm gonna click these and uh, group these together. And I'm gonna rename this group group, uh, group inner, well, we'll say inner group, just so that it's a little more clear. So now we can see that group green contains the inner group. So group green is no longer the parent of these two elements of the image and the text. Now the inner group is the parent. Group green is the grandparent of the image and the text. So if I open this up, I can see which one is my parent? Also, there's a little trick here. If you right click on any element, you have an option to select the first parent. That way you know immediately. Um, I clicked on it and it selected the first parent of that element and I know which one. Because sometimes, you know, if you have things grouped and you don't have any kind of styling for this group, it might not be very obvious that these two elements are sitting inside of another group. So, you know, if you're ever seeing kind of weird data or something's not appearing right, just make sure that you're actually referencing the proper group. And you notice when I group those things together, this inner group automatically had its type and data source set because the green group was set to that. It was set to a user. And so Bubble will kind of automatically uh, set this up for you because it kind of assumes that um, you'll most likely want the 
inner this inner group to be set to the same type and work with the same data. Of course, you can change it um, if this isn't necessary. But this is important to keep in mind if you are seeing weird data or things just aren't showing right, because you might have this blanked out. Uh, I created the group uh, by right clicking on these elements. But if I were to manually add a new group here, I'm just going to do a little tiny one there, you'll see that my type of content and data source were not set for me. So you'll want to just make sure if you need uh, elements inside of a group to be displaying data dynamically that you'll need to set the type of content and the source or use a workflow like I did here to display data in a group. Okay, now the final piece to this is just to let you know that um, you can, when you're referencing the parent element, you can either use parent group, obviously, because that's a shortcut that Bubble has provided, but you can also go directly to the element itself in your dynamic uh, options list. So the parent group of this profile picture and this text element is the inner group. So I could either say parent groups user or I could say inner groups user. This is the, we're talking about the exact same element. So th there's no difference between setting it to inner groups user or parent groups user um, in the case of this specific image element. All right, so I hope this little explanation of what a parent group is and where to use it, what it's for, uh, helped you out. If you need uh, more help for setting up expressions using parent group in your app, feel free to reach out and thanks for watching.